The Confederation of British Industry is a UK business organisation, which in total speaks for 190,000 businesses, made up of around 1,500 direct and 188,500 indirect members. There are 140 trade associations within the Confederation who, alongside those direct members of the CBI, employ 7 million people, about one-third of the UK private sector employed workforce. The National Farmers Union with its 55,000 members is the largest component of the 188,500 indirect members the CBI claims to speak for. The Country Land and Business Association brings another 30,000 indirect members, the Association of Independent Professionals and the Self-Employed 20,000 indirect members, the Freight Transport Association 13,000, the Federation of Master Builders 9,500 and the Road Haulage Association 8,100. Members include companies, many universities and other public bodies as well as trade association members, from the perspective of their leadership. Described by the Financial Times as Britain's biggest business lobby group. Incorporated by Royal Charter its mission is to promote the conditions in which businesses of all sizes and sectors in the UK can compete and prosper for the benefit of all. Its membership includes FTSE 100, midcaps, SMEs, privately owned businesses, trade associations, universities and other public bodies. The CBI has members in many sectors, agriculture, automotive, aerospace, construction, creative, education financial services, IT, manufacturing, professional services, retail, transport, tourism and utilities. Role: The CBI works to promote business interests by lobbying and advising governments, networking with other businesses and creating intelligence through analysis of government policies and compilation of statistics, both in the United Kingdom and internationally through their offices in Beijing, Brussels, New Delhi and Washington, D.C. It is the foremost lobbying organisation for UK business on national and international issues. It works with the UK government, international legislators and policy makers to help UK businesses compete effectively. As such the organisation is apolitical and has sought legal advice to ensure neutrality. Structure The present Director General is John Cridland, former Deputy Director General, who assumed the role in January 2011. He replaced Richard Lambert, who was formerly the editor of the Financial Times and member of the Bank of England Monetary Policy Committee. The CBI is governed under its charter by the CBI Council, which is able to delegate many of its roles to the Chairman of Euro Unregistered Trademark S Committee and Board. The Chairman of Euro Unregistered Trademark S Committee is responsible for setting the direction of CBI policy and proposing candidates for Chairman and Deputy Chairman. The CBI board is responsible for operational and financial matters. The president chairs both the chairman's committee and the CBI board. A president's committee, made up of members, advises the president. The president, with the approval of the chairman's committee, appoints the director general, who is responsible for the management of the CBI. It has offices based in every region of the UK, including teams in Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. In March 2014 it moved its headquarters from Centre Point, London, to offices in Cannon Place, above Cannon Street Railway Station in the City of London. History The organisation was formed in 1965 out of a merger of the Federation of British Industries, the British Employers' Confederation and the National Association of British Manufacturers. The CBI opened an office in Brussels in 1971, to open up opportunities in Europe. International offices have opened in Washington, Beijing and New Delhi. Research The CBI conducts numerous surveys that are of particular use to its members and stakeholders. Research is available to the relevant sections of its membership. The CBIA Euro Unregistered Trademark S surveys are currently, Industrial Trends, Distributive Trends, Service Sector, Financial Sector, SME Trends, Investment Intentions, Occasional surveys include, procurement, London business, education and skills, absence, CBI policy is decided through consultation with its members of Euro companies from all sectors and sizes of business across the UK are directly involved in the policy making process.
the CBI publishes numerous reports each year on a wide range of issues that have interest and relevance to its members. Recent campaigns include a Euro OE Future Champions a Euro, promoting the contribution and role of mid-sized businesses and a Euro OE Industrial Futuris a Euro, looking at how government should intervene in the economy to promote growth. The CBI publishes a Euro Business Voice a Euro Unregistered Trademark, a monthly magazine for its membership and a Euro Intelligence First a Euro Unregistered Trademark, an occasional publication providing strategic guidance for members on regulatory and economic change. The Great Business Debate In September 2014, the CBI started the Great Business Debate campaign aimed at increasing public confidence in business. Survey data found that only around 50% of people in the UK think that business contributes positively to society and the campaign was initiated to play a part in increasing that figure. A website and social media channels have been set up to openly promote the contribution business makes whilst enabling people and organisations to give their opinions on this. It is planned that various events and other occurrences will take place across the UK as part of the campaign. Scottish independence referendum controversy. In April 2014, the CBI registered with the Electoral Commission as a backer of the campaign against Scottish independence. As a result, 15 Scottish members resigned from the organisation, while two others, Robert Gordon University and Dundee University, suspended their membership. The BBC announced on April 24 that it would also suspend its membership from May 30 until after the referendum on September 18. On April 25, the CBI announced it would try to nullify its registration. An Electoral Commission spokesman said, We have received representations from the CBI to deregister. We are currently considering whether this is possible under the relevant legislation and will make our reasoning public when we have reached a conclusion and informed the CBI of our decision. However, the Chairman of Business for Scotland disputed this would be possible, our understanding is that the CBI cannot nullify its Electoral Commission registration and must, having been identified as a campaigning organisation, be policed by the Commission during the referendum campaign period, just as we ourselves will be. This will complicate the CBI's position on a future European referendum where it will have to transparently show its position is backed by a clear majority of its members both direct and indirect. Organization. Equals Senior Personal Equals, Paul Gisela, President, Carolyn Fairburn, Director General, Correct as of December 2015. Equals Directors General since 1965 Equals, John Davis, Sir Campbell Adamson, Sir John Fenn, Sir Terence Beckett, Sir John Bannum, Sir Howard Davis, Adair Turner, Sir Digby Jones, Sir Richard Lambert, John Cridland, Carolyn Fairbairn. See also, British Chambers of Commerce, Federation of Small Businesses. References External links, Official Website, Catalogue of the CBI Archives, held at the Modern Records Centre, University of Warwick.